All right, YouTube, we're on the road. I got my beautiful family in the car. Six hour drive, we'll be on Dale Hollow in no time. I'll keep checking in. Just check out all the windmills, they're everywhere. What are you getting, Liz? Uh, we're gonna stay awake now, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. It's like one. Hey, what about me? What about me? Quiet. Hey, I thought we were getting food and getting we back are. on the road. I just need to play one game. One game? Who's eating? Are you eating? We don't have time for that. No, I'm not gonna get any food. Hey, Alright, we got our food. What the? What the? I moved the seat for a minute so I can get out. Boys, did you get your food? Yeah. What do you got? McDonald's. Reese, what'd you get? McDonald's. Oh, man. That's what the champions eat. Who did I get? Alright. Well, let's get back oh, on the road. Oh, we have made it to Indianapolis. The best NFL franchise ever. Indianapolis Colts. Goodbye, Indiana. Hello, Louisville, Kentucky. We're in Kentucky. They know. Wow. Oh, stop number two. The uh, the Burger King. What'd you end up with? French fries. French fries and ketchup. All right. Mom still inside. Hopefully you don't have to stop anymore. Made it to Burksville. All right, guys, we made it here, a vacation house. The lake is out there over the mountains. I'll see y'all in the morning when we get on the water. We don't get the houseboat until, I don't remember, around noon. But I'll, uh, I'll tune back in then. Good night. All right, guys, it's pretty early in the morning. I'm out here getting ready. I um, want to throw my stuff in the boat. Me and the old man are going to go down to the lake and do a little early morning bass fishing. We don't get the boat till 2 o'clock or so. But um, we're going to take Old Faithful out there. I'm going to try to slay him on some tap water. We're only a mile from the lake, so we should be on it in no time. All right. I just realized I didn't finish that vlog to the trip to Kentucky, so here's the deal. This is why I didn't get finished. I just recall calling the boat Old Faithful when I got up in the morning, and me and the old man, we went down to the lake like we were going to. We launched a boat, and we have about, oh, I don't know, a quarter mile of idle zone. It's a long dock and a bunch of boats. You, you gotta idle out. Well, we didn't make it out. About two minutes of idling through the water, the alarm went off on the motor. So, yeah, that wasn't good. 
Long story short, we were only there for three and a half days. And we had six kids on the houseboat and the rest were adults. So there were a lot of kids there. I got glitter on my face. But the water pump, well, we thought it was going to be the impeller. Took it to the marina. The water pump was out. Um, for those of you who don't know, I don't even know if I've made a video of my boat. I have an older boat. It's an 87 Bayliner bass boat. And um, it's got a, an old force motor, 85 horse force motor on the back. It's kind of hard to get parts. And if you do get parts, most people don't have them in stock. So it took them three days, because it's out in the middle of nowhere, to get the part in. Um, it wasn't just the impeller. They had to replace the whole water pump, the whole kit and caboodle. And $380 later, we got it fixed, got the boat on the last day we were there. However, um, the kid did not get to do any tubing or skiing while we were there. So we, uh, we just decided to make it a kid's day, pull them around in the tube and, and did everything that they wanted to do. So we really didn't get to get out on the water and do any good bass fishing. So that's what happened. Bummer, really a bummer. Caught a few from the houseboat and the bank that we were at. We kind of we kind of walked around the bank a little bit, and um, we caught some rock bass. We caught some spotted bass. And I caught uh, one smallmouth. wasn't wasn't very big. It was like 12, 14 inches. And then, uh, but we did catch a crap load of bluegill. So that's cool. Anyhow, that's what happened. I apologize, guys. I know some of you were looking forward to. Everything I was, um, and it wasn't a heat of the summer, so there's no guarantee I would have been able to catch a bunch of smallmouth anyway. Would I have caught some? Yeah, I'm confident in that. But uh, would I have been slaying them like crazy? I don't know. So, the boat is fixed now. Um, back home, back to work, back to reality. So. We'll, uh, we'll keep going at it, and I'll get you guys more videos. Peace.